What's up everyone? One asset class which has mostly held up steadily during this current market volatility is EV battery minerals. And I feel that, given their demand outlook, they are bound to recover quite quickly whenever the market bottoms out. And so in this video, I bring you updates on two of our top EV mineral stocks which are doing really well right now and have a long long way to go. And for one of these stocks, they are punching all time highs right now and have recently reported results which could position them to be the world's fourth largest producer of battery grade lithium, which is just a massive outlook. And for the other one, they have actually seen the billionaire investor Daniel Leop and his third point management firm pile into the stock in Q1. And so if you are one of those who follow the money, then you certainly want to keep an eye on these assets. So two big opportunities here for you to watch. And I've also got lots of free stuff and smart ideas to put money back into your pockets in these tough times. So make sure you stick around to the end so you don't miss out on these freebies. We have seen some stocks wiped out in the markets recently and so doing thorough due diligence on your stock selections has never been more important. And we always say to look out for top and bottom line growth, low debt, low dilution, good management teams and loads more. And so if you want to improve your portfolio analysis with all of these considerations in one place, and with some of the best analyst insights on over 150,000 stocks, then you want to make sure you check out Simply Wall Street or Seeking Alpha who are offering some great deals right now. A 30% discount with a 14 days extended free trial period from Simply Wall Street and a $40 off Seeking Alpha premium plan for a very limited period of time if you sign up for my link below. And since I started using them a few months ago, I have narrowed down my range of stocks on the channel so as to bring you just the quality stuff. And so if you really really want to get ahead with your due diligence to source out high quality stocks, you want to check out the links from the description below and grab your discounts for a limited time period only. And as I always aim to add value to my viewers outside my videos, you want to make sure you check out this free exclusive VIP report for you on how to navigate this inflationary period via the Commodity Supercycle, where I have partnered with the Wealth Research Group. And we are beginning to see investors flock into commodities as inflation hedges. So make sure you download your free most read copy from the link on the screen right now or from the description below which they have authored for us to see how we could protect your portfolio. And that said, please drop a quick like on the video and hit the bell so we can get on with it with our first stop here which is Sigma Lithium, ticker number SGML which we first called here on the channel at $9.50 per share and it's now punching hard on the day being up 11% at over $17.18 per share with a market cap of $1.7 billion. And that's giving most of our viewers over 80% gains which you can see here. And what we're equally beginning to see here is that at a time when most stocks are down 40, 50, 60 or even up to 80% down given the broader market sell-off, Sigma has been punching very much towards all-time highs of over $18 per share which bodes really well for them. And it only goes to tell you how the market views their prospects and what lies ahead. So clearly not one to snooze on. And so if you need a decent platform where you can hold gems like Sigma and your lithium penny stocks, you certainly want to check out Interactive Brokers, which is a low cost and award winning platform which allows you to trade over 135 markets. And what I really like about the IBKR platform, which you can see here from my portfolio is that you can access some of the top lithium plays but directly from the Australian market with limit orders. And so if you need a platform with low fees enabling you to trade globally in challenging times like this, then you certainly want to check them out from my link below. Thank you so much and here's what's new with Sigma. You will recall that Sigma already signed a binding off-take agreement with LG Energy Solutions, the world's second largest EV battery maker, to supply 60,000 tons per annum of lithium carbon equivalent through to 2027 and the terms allow for increasing by 40,000 tons per year during the second phase of production and going up to 100,000 tons per year. So a very good position to be in and so building on this, Sigma announced filing their technical report with outstanding economic results of their integrated phase 1 and 2 projected production with an after-tax NPV of $5.1 billion. This is just some huge news here and what has got the market sharing hard for Sigma. The phase expansion scenario will potentially position Sigma as the world's fourth largest lithium producer with a run rate combined production of 531,000 tons per annum or 72.2k tons per annum of lithium carbonate equivalent. 
and this is expected to put them amongst the lowest cost lithium producers globally. And Sigma is also in construction of a green tech lithium processing plant integrated with its own lithium ore feedstock and the company is fully funded to production for the remaining phase 1 capex of $111 million. And phase 1 remains on schedule and on budget to begin within commissioning by year end of 2022. And the phase 2 green tech plant and mine capex is estimated at $76 million and detailed engineering and feasibility level studies are on the way. And analysts are seeking alpha say Sigma Lithium looks to be a potential 2022 lithium producer with significant next stage expansion potential. It says Sigma Lithium is rapidly developing a world class lithium hard rock deposit with a high grade low impurity lithium spodium in Brazil. And they are a near term production miner with significant organic growth profile with 72.2k tons per annum of lithium carbonate equivalent in annual production and with further growth potential in phase 3. And this is where it gets really interesting for me with Sigma where they are projected to be a leading near term producer after the likes of Abi Mali, Liven and Pilbara, most of whom we've covered on the channel. And when you also look at some of the other junior miners which we've covered on the channel such as Lake Resources, Core Lithium, Piedmont and Standard Lithium, it gives you a good feel of the scale and potential which Sigma has, so clearly one not to snooze on. And simply Wall Street say Sigma is forecast to become profitable over the next 3 years which is considered faster than the savings rate and Sigma's revenue is forecast to grow even faster at 178.1% per year and the earnings growth rate at 168.5% which is way above the market growth rate at 13% which is also very significant. And they say there are too many aspects of Sigma Lithium to cover in one brief but the fundamentals of the company can all be found in one place looking at the historical track record, management teams and loads loads more. And so if you want more insights like this, you want to check out Simply Wall Street which is offering a limited time offer of 30% discount or Seeking Alpha offering you $40 off the Seeking Alpha premium plan. And this great discount you can only get from my links in the description below. So please check them out if of interest. And next up to our number 2 EV battery giant for you on the list today which is Glencore, ticker number on the OTC GLNCF and on the London exchange GLEN Glen which you call here at $4.50 but it is currently sitting at 42% at $6.58 per share with a market cap of $69 billion. Glencore has been very volatile on the back of the market sell off but always bounce back given how diversified they are. They are just a powerhouse which you wouldn't expect to accelerate like other penny stocks because it's not a pure play lithium, nickel or cobalt producer but it just houses all of them. So it's more a steady eddy momentum play as a diversification makes them a long term hedge for EV battery minerals. So here's what Glencore has been up to. Glencore and General Motors recently entered a multi year cobalt supply agreement. They announced a multi year sourcing agreement in which Glencore will supply GM with cobalt from its mirroring operations in Australia. And cobalt here is an important metal in the production of EV batteries, and the cobalt processed from Australia will be used in GM's battery cathodes, which will power a number of the electric vehicles. Cobalt is also a rare metal which makes only about 0.01% of the earth's crust and is known for their heat resistant properties where once added to lithium ion battery cathodes it improves their energy density and battery longevity. And by the end of 2025, GM plans to have the capacity to build 1 million electric vehicles in North America and has announced a series of actions to create a new and more secured EV supply chain. Glencore and Lifecycle also announced an innovative partnership to advance circularity in the battery raw material supply chains. And they say with the addition of the strategic partnership with Lifecycle, Glencore will seek to combine primary and recycled battery raw materials to produce battery grade end products and this will enable auto manufacturers to meet their EV ambitions whilst also being able to meet key regulatory directives related to battery raw materials. And this will also be facilitated through the localization of supply chains and increasing recycled content in battery raw materials over time. And third point, the asset manager also noted that Glencore is a strategically important asset as third point initiated a long position in Glencore in Q1. They said Glencore is a diversified miner that supplies copper and nickel, two metals that will be critical inputs for the transition to renewable energy. And renewable energy assets require between 3 to 15 times the amount of copper compared to conventional power generation 
and electric vehicles have about five times the amount of copper as internal combustion engine vehicles. And nickel on the other hand is a key ingredient for batteries for electric vehicles and energy storage. And so they believe that these two metals are undergoing a substantial acceleration in demand that will outpace supply growth as miners maintain capital discipline after a decade of poor returns. And nickel prices have already begun to price in scarcity and they see a similar potential in copper over the next few years as electric vehicles replace combustion vehicles and the renewable generation build-out occurs. How very insightful and strategic for them at this time. And whilst that all looks rosy, it's worth bringing to your attention that Glencoe recently entered guilty pleas of multiple counts of bribery and market manipulation and agreed settlements to more than $1 billion. It also became the first company to receive a criminal prosecution from the UK Serious Fraud Office under Section 1 of the Bribery Act for bribing another person. So something to be aware of if corporate ethics is a factor to influence your investment decisions. But saying that, Simply Wall Street says Glencore is trading at 63% below their estimated fair value which gives them significant upside potential should they be able to turn around from their current woes. So some very very interesting and mind-blowing prospects ahead for these stocks but only consider getting in if the price is right for you and if you fully understand the risk. This video is not financial advice, a buy or sell recommendation but it's meant to bring some exciting stocks to your attention for you to do your own research. And as always, I'd love to hear from you. So please let me know your thoughts on these top stocks in the comment section below and what other stocks are catching your eyes lately. And if you're new to my channel, please ensure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please check out this video right here or this playlist right here to watch equally insightful content from the channel. Thank you so much for being here and I look forward to having you in my next video. Thank you.